Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your trainer for this Power Platform Fundamentals PL900 certification course. In this video, we are going to go deep into common data services in Power Platform. Let's have a look at the things what we are going to learn on this video. I will explain what environments, entities, fields and relationships in common data service and you would be able to describe the difference between common data service and common data model. And you would be able to explain use cases and limitations of business rules and process flows. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. The common data service is a cloud-based solution that easily structures a variety of data and business logic to support interconnected applications and processes in a secure and compliant manner. Common Data Service is managed and maintained by Microsoft and is available globally but deployed geographically to comply with your potential data residency. So it is not designed for standalone or used in your own servers. So you will need an internet connection to access and use it. The common data service is designed to be your central data repository for your business data. Behind the scenes, it powers many Microsoft Dynamics 365 solutions such as field service, marketing, customer service and sales. It is also available as part of Power Apps and Power Automate with native connectivity built right in. This is a visualization which brings together the many offerings of common data service. As you can see already, the common data service offer a great deal of functionality. So let me take you through these functionality one by one. Security, logic, data, storage and integration. Let's look at security first. Common data service handles authentication with Azure Active Directory to allow for conditional access and multi-factor authentication. It supports authorization down to the row and field level and provides rich auditing capabilities. What about logic? Common data service allows you to easily apply business logic at the data level. Regardless of how a user is interacting with the data, the same rule apply. These rules could be related to duplicate detection, business rules, workflows, or more. What about data? Common data service offer you the control to shape your data, allowing you to discover, model, validate, and report on your data. This control ensures your data looks the way you want regardless of how it is used. The next offering is storage. Common Data Service stores your physical data in the Azure Cloud. This cloud-based storage removes the burden of worrying about where your data lives or how it scales. These concerns are all handled for you. And the last offering is integration. Common Data Service connects in different ways to support your business needs. APIs, webhooks, eventing, and data exports give you flexibility to get the data in and out. As you can see, Common Data Service is very powerful cloud-based solution for storing and working with your business data. So let us understand what is entities and fields. An entity is similar to a table in a database or in an Excel workbook in the way it stores data. It is a logical structure containing records that are made up of fields or put up simply rows and columns. This is a sample screenshot of the standard customer entity and various types of field it includes. There are mainly two types of entities, a standard and complex. A standard entity is a base set of entities that are created for every instance of a common data service database. You can add more fields to any entity, but you can only delete fields from a custom entity. These entities can contain complex server-side business logic, including real-time workflows or plugins. Some of the entities that are used in Dynamics 365 applications are super complex. So what are fields? 
Fields are a way to store a discrete piece of information within a record in an entity. You might think of them as a column in Excel. Fields have types, meaning that you can store data of a certain type in a field that matches the data type. For, for example, if you have a solution that requires data, then you would store the data in a field with the type of date. Similarly, if you want to store a number, then you would store the number in the field with the type as number. Let us understand the relationship of these entities. Entities that relate to one another have a relational connection. Relationship between entities exist in many forms. But the two most common are one to many and many to many, both of which are supported by common data service. One to many relationships are also known as parent child relationships. If you want to know an example, an invoice can have zero, one, or many line items. But the line item will always be related to just one invoice, which is a parent record. Typically, the child records will not exist without a parent record. And splitting the data into different entities make for an efficient solution design that can scale. But knowing how to split up the data into entities can be difficult. Thankfully, common data services already contains many of these entities that most organizations will need. Using standard entities and extending them will ensure that you are building solutions around a proven, scalable way of storing the data that is used by your solutions. Let's understand what are the environments in common data service. Environments are used to store, manage, and share your organization's business data, apps, and flows in the Power Platform. Each environment allows you to provision one common data service database for use within that environment. Common data service environments allow you to manage user access, security settings, and storage that is associated with the database. Each environment is created under a Microsoft Azure Active Directory tenant, and its resources can only be accessed by users within that tenant. An environment is also bound to a geographic location like United States or Europe. When you create a common data service database in an environment, that database is created within data centers in that geographic location. Any items that you create in that environment, including connections, gateways, flows, that are using this Power Automate and more, are also bound to their environmental location. So what are business rules? In common data service, you can define business rules. Business rules allow you to apply and maintain business logic at the data layer instead of an app layer. If you create business rules in common data service, they are in effect regardless of how you interact with the data. Okay, let me give you a tip. Business rules are usually defined for an entity and applies to all forms. But you can define a business rule for a specific business-driven model as well. This is an example of a simple yet powerful use of business rules. The business rule is configured to change the field credit limit VP approver to be required field if the credit limit is set to greater than $1 million. If the credit limit is less than $1 million, then the field is optional. All right, so let's understand how to access Power Apps Admin Center. Before that, what is Power Apps Admin Center? Most of the administration settings that you need are available in the Power Apps Admin Center. You should always check for the administration settings as your first step when looking to administer common data service. So we have environments, data policies, data integration, and tenant. Don't worry, I will take you to a live demo explaining how to access the portal. But let, but let me first help you understand what are these categories. Environment in this section lists all instances of common data services. Environments is where it lists all instances of common data service. Under data policies, 
This section lets you set up policies to restrict what data connectors can be used with common data service to limit what data can flow into or out to common data service entities. The next category is data integration. This section lets you create or add predefined connections and monitor these connections between common data service and other data stores like Salesforce or SQL Server. The tenant section lets you monitor licenses and quotas. So let's go and see a live demo of this Power Apps Admin Center. All right, so let me take you to Power Apps. You can go to Power Apps by going into www.powerapps.com. Click on sign in and provide your tenant administrator username and password. So once you are inside the Power Apps portal, this is where you can see common data service and other services. We will go in detail about all of these relevant topics in the coming videos. But to access Admin Center, you can either go to admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com or you can click on this settings button and you can click on Admin Center from here. And this takes you to the Admin Center for the Power Platform as well. On the left hand side, you can see all the categories what we mentioned, data integration, data policies, other admin center, which we will discuss later in the video, etc. That's how you access the Power Platform Admin Center. We will come back to this portal later when we discuss about other topics. So that concludes this lesson. In the next video, we're going to do a quick knowledge check on what we have learned in this previous module. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.